Hi, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar, and welcome to another Ask the Expert segment. Uh, today our question comes from Melanie in Chicago, and uh, this is a very common question that we get for people, especially that uh, are kind of new to the polymer bearing world, and they've been using uh, ball bearings for their design career, and now they're interested in looking at uh, self-lubricating polymers. And the question is simply, how does a self-lubricating bearing material self-lubricate? Um, it's a very interesting concept, and uh, there's a couple of different methods of lubrication that we have with polymer bearings. Um, they're called smearing systems, and then there's also a debris system, uh, two very distinctly different uh, types of transfer of the lubrication media, and uh, it has to do with the type of material, the type of polymer, and the method of that transfer media or that lubricating media to leave the polymer and basically deposit into the micro finish of the mating hardware. Um, the most common of the smearing systems would be any materials that are either made up primarily of PTFE or other polymers that might have PTFE as the lubricating media. Uh, but PTFE or Teflon, as the world knows it, is not the only lubricating media used in polymers. We also use silicone, we use graphite, we use moly. Uh, so the, these are all migratory lubricants that have to find their way out of the polymer and essentially deposit themselves into the microfinish. And it's the buildup of that deposit that eventually uh, generates a hydrodynamic film and that is where your self-lubrication comes from. The other type of system is called a debris system, and these are typically materials that uh, don't have uh, added lubricants, but are really dependent more on the toughness, the physical toughness of the polymer itself uh, to, in essence, break off small particles of debris, and uh, those essentially become little ball bearings. Um, not the most efficient method of lubrication in terms of you know, being able to sustain those little ball bearings because if it's a reciprocating stroke or sometimes an oscillating stroke, you might see a small debris field build up on the outer edges of the bearing. It doesn't necessarily mean that that debris lubrication is leaving the bearing necessarily, but it, it does mean that uh, there is a constant generation of that debris. But again, because of the mechanical toughness of those types of materials, and we're talking about things like cast nylon, um, nylon 6.6, things like that, and, and also UHMW falls into that category. Um, these are materials that really do depend on that little ball bearing generation. So two very uniquely different types of lubrication um, generated for different reasons and in different ways, um, but both efficient in their own interesting ways. Um, we have a lot of information online about self-lubricating materials and specifically how they work. So I would invite you to go back through the website, uh, take a look at some of the information in our video library, and also take a look at some of our seminar presentations on plane bearings. There is uh, conversations in there on self-lubricating media and how it works, and also some differentiation between the materials which ones fall under the debris system, which ones fall under smearing systems, and it gives you a better picture of which way you might want to go. Um, so um, be sure and join us for some uh, future Ask the Experts. I hope this one's been of interest to you, and we look forward to seeing you again in the near future.